Welcome to Naresh High Technologies. This is Ram Chandar. In this video, I am going to discuss about a very important feature related to Java 8 version that is Lambda expression. So, whatever the features which we have in the JDK 1.8, if you are comparing with all the features, one of the best and very valuable feature in entire Java 1.8 that is Lambda expression. Then what is this lambda expression? What is the use of lambda expression? And how to write the programming on top of this lambda expression? That is the intention of this video. Then what is lambda expression? Lambda expression is one anonymous function. Lambda expression is one anonymous function. That means, a function which does not having any name that type of function we can call as anonymous function or we can also call as what unnamed function, unnamed function, anonymous function or unnamed function. Now, basically every lambda expression nothing but every anonymous function or sometimes we can call as what here anonymous, anonymous expression also anonymous expression also. Lambda expression is one anonymous function or expression or unnamed function. So, what exactly it will do? Before that, I want to give you one very important point here is about lambda expression. This is one class object. Every anonymous function, every lambda expression is one class object. I will give you, I will give you more information about this uh, terminology like a class object while I am developing program. And the main intention, the main intention of the lambda is providing implementation for, providing implementation for only functional interface, only for functional interfaces or or single abstract method interface, single abstract method interface providing implementation for only functional interfaces. Okay. Now, up to now we learn only two point what is lambda and why it is. Lambda is anonymous function, it is behave like a one class object, it is always providing implementation for functional interface within the very concise format, the very simple the program size and the syntax size is very simple. With the help of lambdas writing less code, we are writing less code and perform more operation, perform more operations. We are writing only less code, uh, but perform wise what here? More and more, more and more, clear. Now, observe here mainly lambda's expression is the best sortable for collection framework, best sortable for collection framework related objects, collection framework related object for iterating, for filtering, for mapping, for counting. We can able to perform different different uh, type of operation on type of what uh, collection framework objects. It is the best sortable for collection framework objects, clear. Now, observe here, then what is the syntax here? What is the syntax here? Open and closed. Here we can write what here? Parameter. Here we can write what here? Data type, data type and parameter. Again data type, data type. What is this? Parameter, data type, parameter 1 and parameter 2 and up to so on. And what is this expression, lambda expression and open and closed. If you want to write, you can write open and closed curly braces and we are writing like what here, either one or more multiple statements, statements. This is what exactly syntax, clear. Now, let me write a little bit of a small information related to lambda expression. 
I want to write one program about a lambda expression here. How to write this one? Very simple, very, very simple. Let me write, let me take one functional interface. How to make a interface as a functional interface at the rate of functional interface? And here I am taking one interface like a interface i. In the interface i, I have a what here one method like a public abstract void m1 method. Void m1 method. For easily understand about the syntax of syntax of lambda, first I want to show that how to provide the implementation for this method by using anonymous slowly I will launch it into what here slowly I will go for lambda. Now observe here i obj equal to new i most of the people feels like we are creating an object for interface no we are creating an object for implementation class of i. So, this uh, from 8th line to 11th line everything will be here like a implementation class implementation class ok. Now, if any class which uh, overrides the interface i that class must and should be which implement the interface i that class must and should be override the method here I am writing like a public void m1 system dot out dot println system dot out dot println here I am writing like here I am writing like anonymous. Now, observe guys obj dot m1 method obj dot m1 method if you observe this program what happen you will get output like m1 anonymous that means whenever we calling m1 method compiler concentrate on type what is the type here i do you have m1 method in the i yes but jvm concentrate on what memory obj holding obj not holding interface i memory obj holding implementation class memory of implementation class of i so in the obj what we have implementation class from that implementation class memory we are accessing what here m1 method the same thing i am going to represent with the lambdas observe here no need to write a new i no need to write a separately method simply we are writing like what here open and closed parentheses once we writing open and closed parentheses it's enough this open and closed parentheses will replace it with m1 method now how to represent the body of the method and how to pointing the body of the method and how to forward the control to body of the method by writing open and by writing iphone and greater than this is a lambda operator now here i am going to write whether you can use curly braces or you can go with what here normal single statements directly now system dot out dot print and this is lambda this is what here lambdas now let me call obj1 let me call method obj1 dot m1 method compiler always concentrate on what type in the type do we have in the type i do we have m1 method yes now jvm concentrate on what here memory now come to our point previously theoretically i told you every function every function is one object every lambda is one class object every lambda is one class object so in this obj what we have object memory we have who will going to create here this syntax in that memory what we have m1 method from that uh, memory only m1 method is going to execute this open and closed parenthesis will replace it with replace it with method of i what is the method of i m1 so here i holding only m1 method so this open and closed parenthesis will replace it with m1 method and this uh, oh, iphone and greater than will pointing to body of the m1 method nothing this nothing but this part in the body what we have one statement this entire thing that entire m1 method is the con concept related to one memory now if you are not believing my words just uh, simply i am printing like obj1 dot obj1 dot obj1 dot hash code obj1 dot hash code now we getting memory so every function is one class object every anonymous function is one class object this function does not having any name that is called unnamed or anonymous the main intention i told you 
a function which does not having a name anonymous and this is what your class level object yes it is having some memory in the background and providing implementation for only functional interfaces. Now, for example, let me comment this statement that means, we can write uh, multiple lines of uh, multiple lines of code multiple lines of nothing but more more abstract method we can write control C control V and this is what your M2. Now, leave it about the, here the error only concentrate here here I am not mentioning any name then how compiler going to take the decision whether this uh, open and closed parenthesis is the body for M1 or M2. So, compiler getting what here ambiguity to avoiding that ambiguity only lambdas does not support uh, uh, implementation for general interface lambdas only supported for what here functional interfaces otherwise simply we can say single abstract method interfaces ok. And one more point I told you which is the best suitable for collection framework objects mm, this point I am going to cover whenever I am talking about a collection framework related concepts like a stream API there I am going to talk more and more about this point. Now, I told you like syntax syntax what I told you syntax open parenthesis closed parenthesis within that I mentioned the data types if the method having data type you can write data type otherwise no need. For example, observe here let me take uh, let me take one more functional interface at the rate at the rate functional interface at the rate functional interface interface here interface j interface j public public abstract void m1 method void m2 method ok. This is what here int x j obj2 this open and closed parenthesis will replace it with obj sorry j method j related method nothing but m2 method and it is having one parameter what is this int x int x now here I am writing like what system dot out dot print ln body we are writing x value x value yes if you want to write the curly braces you can write if you want to write the curly braces we can write yes curly braces. Now, I am calling the method obj2 dot m2 of 123 then what happen this 123 will go and place into where x and now that x this x will be replaced with 123 now observe here x 123. Now, you can write no need to mention no need to mention here int simply you can write what here x now observe x value is what here 123. Now, if I am writing like this c what is the value 1 2 3 for your understand purpose let me take 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 c that means either we can directly writing variable name or we can write what int x like this ok. But whenever we writing like int x better to write with what open and closed parenthesis. So, this is a lambda of 0 argument this is lambda of what here int argument. So, let me give you a quick review a lambda is one anonymous function in Java language and which does not having any name and one more important point is lambdas lambdas not creating not creating any dot class files providing implementation for interface, but not providing any dot class files not providing any dot class files clear or not. So, how I am going to show you this point very simple concentrate I do not want to take this one let me delete. So, let me go with only interface i good let me delete this concept also let me copy this code and save into copied into notepad. So, let me save this what is this test dot java test dot java let me open command prompt ok cd desktop java c test dot java yes now I am executing the program java test now what happen observe lambda is executing only one dot class file creating test dot java test dot class for test class one dot class file for i interface one dot class file, but this part is what clearly observe what is this part this is also behave like a what here one implementation. Now, normal Java method is different 
lambda function is different. Java method is a just a member of a class, but here function lambda is what here object class level object basically it is not a member it is a what object normal method is member of the object here lambda is what here gives what here directly object in that object we have what here again method like m1 so most of the people are having the confusion here small difference here lambda is one object but it will representing in the form of what here anonymous function understand or not and one more important point is parents is not mandatory parameters are not mandatory and what is this closed open and closed parents uh, curly braces are not mandatory these are what not a mandatory statement if you are writing single variable x you can if you want if you want to write in the previous uh, code observe here yeah you can write only x no problem or we can write what here in text no problem without any parents is writing x is also no problem this is different uh, flexibility to work with what here lambdas more and more programming related to lambdas we will see in the next video i hope i given clarity related to lambdas for more videos please subscribe naresati channel thank you